Well, I got out really early this morning. I guess if you take a nap the day before, it's not too hard. I don't even feel groggy or anything. It's just kind of surprising to me, and I just got up and got dressed and got a little coffee made and cut up some fruit and put it in my backpack and I'm headed out and it's not sun up yet. This is Anna River. Looks like they've already cut back the flow a little bit. Over on the other side there was a little mist on the river. Not that it's a cool morning but just cool enough I guess to contrast to the uh, warmer water and create mist and out of this tree here and, and as I pan around here across my pickup window out of that tree uh, two great horned owls flew as soon as I pulled up in kind of a panic I think I know where they flew to I'm not in a big hurry to get anything because you can't photograph in this light, but um, anyway, it's nice to be out early on top of everything ahead of time and um, see the soft colors of dawn. We've just had a big fire in the area along the uh, mountain ridge and out across the desert and there's been huge amounts of turmoil and trucks everywhere and all that and now today no breeze just a little coolish and very peaceful by contrast well you can still see a little mist on this section of the river but not much and of course that spot on that little dead branch sticking up over there Slightly right of center and up are two great horned owls. I don't know whether they're young ones or older ones. Maybe one older one, one young one. And um, that must have been, oh, there's one right up in this tree here, too. It's an older one. And I don't know if you can see it. I think you might be able to just barely see it. I'll use the uh, digital zoom here. There it is right there, in the middle of the uh, frame. Let's see if that's all the digital zoom I've got. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, not worth taking out my um, 600 millimeter lens just to photograph something buried in the willow tree. But uh, anyway, it's just nice to see a little bit of wildlife and I think I'll use this to pan on the river here with the uh, digital zoom just to see how those other two owls are a little bit closer you can make them out a little bit there well the sun has popped up so strong and bright that I had to put my sunglasses on and I can't even see the road to drive Afraid I'll drive off into the river. But anyway, it, it'll stay light for a long time before the sun comes up and you'll be waiting and waiting. But when it comes up, it just comes up, it jumps up into the sky on a summer day. And everything gets bright pretty quick. Well, as I kind of slowly pan out here across the marsh, parts of it, no campers around anywhere. I think uh, all the fire and they were leading people down the highway with pilot cars and all that. I probably, they probably said I'm not going to Summer Lake. But I do see off in that direction lots of stuff flying now. And I like to get flight shots. So maybe I'll get myself in a position where I can uh, be ready in case something comes flying by. But um, 
Yeah, just me and thousands of swallows and a few shorebirds out around. But I see a lot of flight flying going on off in that direction. So the big fire, it was um, off. Um, that's already been burned up there, so. But it still can burn a little bit more. But uh, moving this way, off towards that direction, about the middle, kind of covered up a little bit. But uh, close to the town of Summer Lake. Burned right up next to it. Burned up right next to the church and uh, all the way up to that little peak you see in the middle called Picture Rock Pass and then out across the desert on top. And they fought it for about three days and got it got it stopped and so that's just one little smoke I saw this morning. Hopefully somebody else sees it. Mm -hmm.